Yo guys, what's going on? Rizzo here and today I'm going to talk to you about mages in 5.4. We're going to be going over talents, basic rotation, and glyphs. So sit back and enjoy this guide. Alright guys, let's jump into the talents. For the first tier, I'm choosing between presence of mind and blazing speed. I like blazing speed against warlock teams so you can, when they gate, you can just be right there and keep hitting them. So that's why I choose Blazing Speed and I choose Presence of Mind for almost every other team. For the second tier, I really like Temporal Shield. I feel like it has a lot more potential than Ice Barrier, seeing as you can use it in a stun and it's unpurgeable as opposed to Ice Barrier. For this tier, I always go Ring of Frost. I don't really see the use of Frost Jaw as a Frost Mage because you do have your Pet Nova and your regular Nova. For this tier, I always go with Cold Snap. That's kind of a given to be honest. Just because of the health and the second Ice Block, it kind of kind of destroys those other two in my opinion. For this tier, because Frost Bomb got nerfed a while back and Nether Tempest got nerfed, Living Bomb seems to be the best option. It does reasonable damage and it's giving you all those Frost Fire Bolts you need. And for the last tier, I choose Encanter's Ward because it's just a nice little extra shield to have and nice for getting back mana if you're spamming Spell Steal. Alright guys, these are the glyphs I choose. I Basically run with Evo, Poly, and Armors for the most part, but if you're playing a comp that doesn't have any dots that go on any other targets or you're not going to Living Bomb the other person, you could play with Rapid Displacement instead of Poly in my opinion, or Rapid Displacement instead of Evo, but that's situational also and I wouldn't want to pass that up. So anyways, what Rapid Displacement is, you have two blinks, but you can't blink out of a stun. But in combination with Blazing Speed, you can get across the map in like 2 seconds. But it is nice being able to blink those stuns. Glyph of Armors is just going to make all your armors a lot better. And Evo is going to give you that health when you evocate. Okay guys, so in my opinion, when opening as a mage, I usually really like to open with Poly on the healer, put a Living Bomb up, and then I Frozen Orb. And I'm going to get these procs, and if I don't get a Frostfire Bolt long enough, I just press Alter anyways. It's ideal if you get a Frostfire Bolt for this. I dump all my procs into them. Oh, I got Brain Freeze right there. Keep going till the end. You come back, and you get those two lances. So that's going to be my opener. And then for sustain damage, I do Nova, so you can get those extra shatters. Keep Living Bomb up on all the targets that you're not CCing. You can use your Pet Nova to get some Fingers of Frost for some more damage. So that's going to be basically your... You're not going to do too much damage outside of that, in my opinion. Just keep up your living bombs for those brain freeze procs, and you just basically rely on your orb and pet nova to do damage. I forgot to mention that I was always also going to go over macros, so let's jump into that. I have a macro that's just a basic slash stop casting cast blink. So if you need to blink, you'll just stop casting whatever you're trying to cast and just get out of there. This is a stop casting ice block, and if you press it again, it'll cancel it. So this is good if you're in the middle of a cast and you want to block, just to, like the blink one, but you're just going to block, and then you press it again, you're out. And this is just a counter spell that's stop casting and a focused counter spell. So it seems like stop casting is a recurring theme with these macros, except for this is just focus deep, slash cast target use focus deep freeze, focus poly. This is the most, I use this to get my, um, so I can put my pet freeze on a uh, keybind because you can't regularly I have a macro to target myself for uh, decursing myself. I have a macro that actually um, uses my, um, my DPS trinket and my frozen orb. Then I have a stop casting and counter spell macro for my regular target. I know I forgot to mention it also, but gemming is also another topic that I want to discuss. However, it's pretty straightforward. For all your yellows, you're going to want to do the 80 intellect, 160 haste. For all your reds, you want to do 160 intellect. And then for your meta, 216 intellect, 3% uh, increased critical effect. For your blues, you're going to want to do 80 intellect, uh, 160 hit. And then for the uh, bell puggle, you just throw in another 160 intellect. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out other videos on Gamers League if that's where you're watching it and please subscribe to my channel. 
thanks for watching guys and i look forward to posting more uh 5.4 mage pvp